because I'm going to try out my Gaelic. <laughs> and in order to encourage me as a late learner in my Gaelic, when I say good afternoon, you've got to say it back to me. And then we'll repeat it until we get a decent noise level. <laughs> so if I say Festival Ma, boys and girls. Festival Ma. I never heard a thing. <laughs> Festival Ma, boys and girls. Festival Ma. And this time, can the mums and dads join in as well? <laughs> Festival Ma, boys and girls, mums and dads. Festival Ma. Once more, see if we can. Because one of the schools in Argyle lost his roof yesterday. <laughs> That's a new school as well. Best of my boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Best of my! There's a Robert W. Service, uh, who's the poet of the Yukon, and he emigrated from Glasgow about the, the year 1890 or so. And he wrote, uh, after uh, years and years of success of writing wonderful poems and being an incredibly well paid uh, a script writer from Hollywood, he wrote his own epitaph. He said, I have no doubt that the devil grins as ink on page I splatter. May God forgive my literary sins, the other kind don't matter. <laughs> now, for me, I have no doubt that the devil grins as ink on page I splatter. May God forgive my pronunciation sins, the other kind don't matter. I, uh, in the election, in, I think it was 2005, and I was up in the Western Islands and I was deeply encouraged. Uh, that, uh, that I thought that we were going to win the seat, and of course uh, the, the seat uh, is, as rightly, how it holds its Gaelic name in the year. And I spent at least a week practicing, because I was absolutely convinced on election night somebody would ask me the Gaelic pronunciation. And I went right through election night and won the seat, and it was all very encouraging, uh, and nobody asked me. <laughs> and until about 5 o'clock in the morning, I was on Radio 4, and finally somebody said at 5 o'clock in the morning, with nobody listening, but can you pronounce the name of the seat? <laughs> so I'm absolutely delighted uh, to be here to open Scotland's first purpose-built Gaelic medium primary school. It's a great pleasure for me to uh, be involved with Scotland's Gaelic communities. I recently had the great honour of, uh, of delivering the Samoristic lecture, and I always appreciate the tact and understanding uh, of the audience there and here of, of responding to my pronunciation. Now, I want you to make it clear that the Scottish Government's commitment uh, to Gaelic, not just as something of value in itself, not just as a commitment to a vibrant culture, but a commitment to a strong uh, economy. Uh, kindly, and uh, Councillor Fraser mentioned the, the importance of bilingualism, uh, having as few monoglots uh, in society as possible, and there's huge uh, academic and educational research which indicates that bilingualism helps children's development in a whole range uh, of areas. And there is substantial evidence uh, that what people want to see when they visit our beautiful country uh, is not just the, the great scenery, the majestic views, they want to experience living by them different cultures. Uh, and that's why this government is keen not just for cultural reasons, but for economic reasons and for educational reasons uh, to see Gaelic as a living, growing language uh, and not a historical relic. I, I want to thank everyone uh, who's been involved in making this school uh, a reality today. It must be a proud day for many, many of the people involved. Everyone at Highland Council, of course, including the current directors, but also the former director of education, Bruce Robertson, the former chairman of the education committee as well as the current chairman, the former chairman Andy Anderson. I know that the parents and the school board were closely involved. I'd like to thank Morrison and Todd for the design, layout and construction and for the fact that the roof is still on, despite the best efforts. I'd like to thank